New jobs and cleaner air are coming to Rochester thanks to a local company. Environmental Energy Technologies plans to hire 200 people over the next five years because of green technology developed at RIT. News 8's Sierra Putman's in the newsroom now with this. Hi, Sierra. Hi, Maureen. The technology is called Plasma Clean, and it was invented here in Rochester, and now a local company is preparing to sell the system. Soot and other pollutants are associated with the roar of a diesel engine. Now, one local company hopes Plasma Clean will offer diesel users a cheaper and more efficient way to cut back on pollutants. Well, Plasma Clean is a polluter system. It doesn't use any catalyst. We just basically use high voltage ionization. So it doesn't have any kind of back pressure that will reduce the engine efficiency. Ali Ogut helped invent Plasma Clean while working as a professor at RIT. Now his company, Environmental Energy Technologies, is selling it. Uh, the challenge is to transfer the technology from the labs in the universities uh, to, the, uh, to the marketplace where it can actually be used as a, as a product. And uh, this is an excellent example of how you can transfer high impact technology from uh, a high end university like RIT into a product. Uh, and that's kind of, that's a unique uh, accomplishment for many universities. The Plasma Clean system connects to the exhaust pipe of a diesel engine and turns soot and other pollutants into carbon dioxide and water. Most filters that help reduce emissions cost $60,000 over an engine's lifetime, but the Plasma Clean will only cost $10,000. Plasma Clean essentially uh, cleans the air, uh, it saves on fuel, and it will create jobs uh, for the community. Uh, our plan is to grow the company over the next five years to about uh, 200 jobs. CEO John Erbland expects to hire engineers, manufacturers, salespeople, and others. He says they're looking to hire five this year, all because of this new technology invented here at home. Now, Environmental Energy Technology says, as well as trucks and buses, this technology can also be used for generators and other items that use diesel engines. They already have about 30 companies interested in the technology. Sierra Putman, News 8. All right, thanks, Sierra.